Hey guys, I just wanted to show a, a very simple recipe that can save thousands of leads from Google Maps to Google Sheet and let's see how it works. So the thing what I'm doing here is that I will be pulling all the marketing agencies in Bangalore so that I can target them later for TechSoc. So I have searched marketing agencies in Bangalore and this is the list of like all the agencies in Bangalore, right? And now what I'm going to do is that I'll be pulling all their like listing data, including the phone numbers, uh, address, reviews and everything. And then I want to submit all of that to this Google Sheet, right? So uh, I have one, uh, this Google Sheet where one is like input and another sheet which contains output, right? So we are going to have inputs column where or you can add all the different uh, maps link here so that you can scrape all the different listings at one in, in, in like in one shot and then whatever will be the output of those recipes will be added in this output sheet right so let's see how this works so first thing that is what we need to do is that go to Texo and build our recipe I have built the recipe already and this is how it works so we have Google Maps extractor which will in have a, a file, Google Sheet, which will have a maps search like URL, right? And then it, this will give me a lot of data and then I want to extract emails as well from the websites. So I have added extract emails from website and I have mapped website from the output that we are getting in the previous step, right? So website. And then at the last column is simply in the, la the last spice, it basically send data to Google Sheet. And here we will add our maps uh, sheet URL here. And I have already configured all the columns and it includes name, website, uh, website, phone, emails, category, average rating, address, summary, and whether the, the listing is claimed or not, right? You can even add uh, more columns by clicking add column and then map the variable that you want to uh, push to Google Sheet, right? And once you are done, click save. And make sure to configure your account by clicking on configure and select the account that you want to use, right? This is it. Now, now let's see how to run this uh, recipe. So I have added only one input, but you can add uh, more inputs that you want to use. Uh, I just wanted to show, so I, I have added like just one input, but you can add many more that you want to scrape. And once the recipe is complete, this is how it looks like. Like this is the one run, but I have not added like all the in inputs, but this is how it looks like. You will get the website, phone numbers, and you can even like set up a, have a VA who can drop a message to these numbers on WhatsApp or maybe uh, uh, do some uh, uh, automated calls or something like that, right? Further to end leads. But yeah, let's go ahead and run this recipe. So I'm going to make uh, my recipe uh, URL sheet URL public. So let's make this public first. Viewer and then done. Oh, I, I did not copy the link. So let's copy the link. Okay, once you are done uh, copying the link, another step that we need to do is copy the output sheet uh, and paste it in the recipe. So let's copy this Google Sheet as well and then I'll just change the access to edit so that my automation can edit without any problems so I'll copy this as well and let's go back to text so send it to Google Sheet here we will need sheet URL so I'll paste my Google Sheet URL here and when you have multiple Google Sheets like input output and more make sure to copy the URL from here, right? Because this includes GID as well, which is very important. I'll copy paste this here. And then uh, this is done. I've already configured all the columns, connected my account and sheet name is going to be output. And here I will need the input Google sheet so let's copy this as well i'll copy this url now click on google sheet uh, and select google sheet here and paste a google sheet that 
you want to use and now select the column which contains uh, maps like listing url right so i'll select column a and since my good sheet does not contain any headers so i'll uncheck this box and yeah you can even check process only new results if you have uh, more links that have been scraped previously right so i don't have any of that so i'll just uh, ignore these options and uh, just everything is going to be i want i will simply leave this blank and submit the good sheet right so this will start the automation for me and let's go to results and see how this works so the automation has started and uh, handling google map search opening link this will start the list uh, scraping list list of the on google maps in in a few seconds One of the user really needed this so I thought like it's a very simple recipe and we should simply make a video and release this recipe for everyone. I think a lot of people uh, will find this very useful and uh, we are going to have more recipe videos like this just to show different use cases that you can do with Texo uh, this whole week and upcoming week as well. This is taking some time. I think it is going on the listing page and, and pulling all the listings. Maybe the logs are not loading, but yeah, um, it should show up in a few minutes. I think we yeah, have a few seconds, not minutes. But yeah, you already know like how the results will look like. It will have all the listings, their domains and phone numbers. Since most of the listings have phone numbers, we need to find a way to contact this, uh, these listings. And I think one of the ideal way would be to uh, maybe uh, dropping them a WhatsApp message or using um, Twilio or any other like tool to send automated messages uh, to these phone numbers, right? Uh, maybe just like a cold call or cold uh, message on their phone. And I think WhatsApp is a way, very good way. Uh, you can have a VA or someone who can drop them a message. And since a lot of, uh, there are a lot of tools which provides WhatsApp automation. And uh, maybe uh, we also need to figure out how we can do this on Texo. Yeah, but let's see if, what we can do. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, it scraped 20 listings and now it's it rating like uh, website and finding emails. So this DJ marketing agency, one email found, uh, one email found. And now this will like find emails. And once the listings are first 20 batch is done, then it will push all of that data to this Google Sheet, right? So this should, Google Sheet should should get updated in in a, in a minute or so. Um, now I'm going to show you the how the output looks like, and then uh, you can give it a try on your own. So as I as I showed uh, that it will pull all the listings and then push all of that data to Google Sheet, and here it is. This is the name of the listing, the website, contact number email address that it found uh, the category of the listing which is advertising agency rating and then address and then i think this is a uh, something different column and this was the column where whether the business was claimed or not and it says true so that means the business is claimed and now this will keep pushing all the data to this google sheet right so uh, go ahead and try this recipe and let me know if you have any questions related to this. You can drop a message to our support and uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Show you the how the output looks like and then uh, you can give it a try on your own. So as I, as I showed uh, that it will pull all the listings and then push all of that data to Google Sheet. And here it is. This is the name of the listing, the website, contact number, email address that it found, uh, the category of the listing which is advertising agency rating and then address and then I think this is a something different column and this was the column where whether the business was claimed or not and it says true so that means the business is claimed and now this will keep pushing all the data to this Google sheet right so uh, go ahead and try this recipe 
and let me know if you have any questions related to this you can drop a message to our support and uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible thank you